In the past, we have talked about that Tesla Giga Berlin will employ up to 12,000 people, and that's a huge number for the small municipalities that surround Grünheide, where Tesla is building its first European Giga factory. Well, it appears that Tesla Giga Berlin has the capacity for up to 40,000 employees in three shifts, says Minister Steinbach. Welcome back, dear friends. This is Armin Haryan from torquenews.com. If you are here first time and would like to receive daily Tesla news, please subscribe to our channel for daily Tesla news and ring the bell so you don't miss my next story. Eva Fox reports for the Tesmanian.com saying a meeting was held uh, yesterday in Grünheide, Brandenburg, Germany, to discuss how to integrate Tesla's new factory into the existing transportation network. This is a big issue because uh, Grünheide is surrounded with small countries and the municipalities, local mayors are gathering together very often discussing how Tesla bringing 12,000 employees will impact their lives. Maybe they need more housing, maybe they need more waters, maybe they need more uh, kindergartens, hospitals, schools and so on. But now it looks like we may be at some point talking about 40,000 workers instead of 12. But even 12,000 workers, imagine if they come with their families. This is not only 12,000 people coming to Giga Berlin area, but you know, if each person comes, the father comes to work there and they have three children or two children or more, we're talking about 12,000 times four or 12,000 times five. But now we're even talking about possibly 40,000 workers. Imagine if 40,000 people at some point work at Giga Berlin and they come with their families. So here's a quote from that meeting. The operation of the plant includes the commuting of workers, trucks and trains. Provided the final extension becomes a reality, this will mean up to 40,000 workers in three shifts coming and going by car, by train and by bike. 23 trains a day and 1,600 trucks a day. This requires adequate infrastructure, said Minister of Economic Affairs, Labor and Energy of Brandenburg, Jörg Steinbach. Uh, Jörg Steinbach told this to Tasmanian. Tesla's factory, Giga Berlin, needs to be environmentally and, and efficiently integrated into the existing infrastructure around Grünheide. And they want to maintain this beauty of Grünheide, the idyllic atmosphere and scenery. And I've spoken, uh, uh, not me, but we have had uh, RB, we, we saw RBB on Handelsblatt doing an interview with the Grünheide's mayor talking about these things that this will be preserved. Now, therefore, the main focus was on the necessary changes in the old plan for the development of the Tesla site. Experts and members of the public presented the interim status of their analysis. The Brandenburg State Development Corporation was tasked with coordinating the change process. This group assesses how useful it is to build a new building at the intersection of the Federal Highway A10 or, for example, to relocate a regional station, RBB24 reports. In fact, speaking of station, if you remember Elon Musk when he was at uh, Giga Berlin last week, he talked about that people will be commuting by, st by train, maybe from Berlin area, and he said there will be even two stations. We don't know, and they may be even uh, relocated as we're learning now. Now, the factory, Eva Fox continues, will be uh, Giga Berlin, will become particularly attractive to Berliners thanks to the regular RE1 connection. This is the rail connection. However, public transport connections from other parts of Brandenburg and Poland are insufficient. So something needs to be done regarding this. Train connections to Giga Berlin are due to begin in the summer of 2021. That's about the time, or maybe even earlier, that's about time when Giga Berlin is going to be operational. And uh, we're expecting the first Model Y made in Giga Berlin to go out from Giga Berlin around summer of 2021. Speaking of this, please check my previous report of how much we expect the Model Y made in Giga Berlin 
to cost. It will be hopefully lower and how much lower than compared if the Model Y shipped from Fremont, California to Europe. New rail systems are slated to appear at the site at Giga Berlin to increase capacity. Like I said, we're talking about possibly two rail stations in the area. But these will be private systems that Tesla will create itself. Regardless of Tesla's plans, the RE1 frequency will be increased in line with the VBB 2030 public transport concept. Beginning in summer 2021, Giga Berlin will produce 100,000 vehicles a year, which will require thousands of new jobs. In the future, the company intends to produce 500,000 vehicles per year. Therefore, it is planned to expand the L38 road in the south. The road should become in many places four lane instead of two lanes as before. It is also planned to build a new interchange in the north of the development area. The new state road, Eva Fox reports, says is to connect to an intersection that will open up and in, uh, open up an industrial zone from the north and continue east from the Autobahn junction. Uh, the uh, junction is a highway intersection, big intersection. The road runs east to the existing L23. Then L23 will also be widened and will cross the railway in the north. These changes were recommended by the state development company, which were based on their own analysis and considered the objections and ideas of citizens after the first interpretation of the application for the amended development plan. The state development company believes that plans to expand the L23 and L38 roads and the new interchange in the north are also necessary. The decision whether to move forward with this uh, development transportation plan around Tesla Giga Berlin uh, will now will fall on the municipality and only after considering that the development plan will be legally binding. Consideration should take place at a meeting of the public council at the end of November. In the meantime, there is going to be another important meeting about Tesla Giga Berlin, and uh, that is going to be on uh, September 23, only about 10, 12 days from now, where the public is going to discuss with the government and Tesla representatives about 400 objections to Tesla Giga Berlin. And hopefully Tesla will uh, provide uh, answers to all of them and provide solutions. They are not major ones, they're solvable. So we're going to see how things Things go in that regard. In the meantime, friends, uh, this is Armin Haryan from torquenews.com. Please subscribe to our channel for daily Tesla news and ring the bell so you don't miss my next Tesla story. Have a wonderful rest of the day. God bless you and take good care of each other. I'll see you soon in our next Tesla story, which I'm going to discuss uh, the expected approval, final approval, full approval uh, date for Tesla Giga Berlin. See you soon.